So the next presentation is about Yosemite V3, the software management introduction. I think um, Yosemite, probably you have already walked through the, the show floor, and Yosemite is the next generation um, OCP um, compute platforms that's currently deploying in a mega scale. So I want to actually spend the next 15 minutes talking about um, the Yosemite software management introductions. So again, I, know, I think you guys know me, I'm Steven. Um, but online, I have Matt Chen from Taiwan. Uh, Matt is going to be standing by um, and answering questions if we actually have time at the end. So can you switch back to the presentation? <clears throat> So as published in the OCP Summit 2020 last year, Yosemite is a for you form factor multi-purpose servers solutions. It can be loaded with six to 12 nodes or slats. The management are through BMC, BIC, and the CPLD, where BMC can identify which type of node through board type command. And there are four type of the node configurations, two of which are with one OU, and two, are, two of which with the two OU height. Configuration A is the one OU height. It is the most simple configurations for compute with no expansion card in, uh, installed. Four slats share with the 50G OCP 3.0 NIC card with multi-host configuration. Configuration B, is one U as well. It is with an ex extra expansion board in the front for up to four M.2 storage. It also has four slats shared with the 50G OCP 3.0 NIC card. Again, multi-host configurations. Configuration C is actually a, a double height to OU. Besides an expansion card for more M.2 and PCIe slots, it also comes with a 100G OCP 3.0 card, NIC card, in order to support the single host configuration for each of the slats. Now, configuration D is also 2OU, but replace the 100G NIC card with extra expansion board in order to support more M.2 local storage. Again, to distinguish those four different configurations or SKUs is done with the board type command. Now, let's talk about the BMC for Yosemite. The BMC for Yosemite consists of BSP for U-boot, kernel, common, and uh, project codes. As shown in the table, BSP, kernel, and common codes are highly with, the, uh, with highly com commonality. Project code is the one, oops, sorry. Project code is the one with the least commonality which is normal as about 70% of the functions and applications are, are common. Here, I like to use the configuration B, as I mentioned. It's a 1U um, compute with the, some of the, uh, the M.2 storage. As an example, to further explain the Yosemite management topology. Note the configuration B is the configuration with one OU height slat, as I mentioned, and there are four slats in each of the drawer. Each slat has front expansion board in order to support M.2 storage. Four slats connect to a base board. Four slats connect to a base board. Oh, it's hard to see. Sorry about technical difficulties. So four slats connect to the baseboard through I2C, UART, 
IPMB, and GPIO. The base board is with OCP 3.0 NIC card with NCSI. Each of the sled has server board with the expansion card to support M.2 SSD. Four slats in the drawer share with the NIC on the baseboard with the multi-host um, configurations. BMC is also on the baseboard controlling each of the slats. So for the sensor monitoring in, open, uh, in Yosemite, let's talk about the configuration B as an example. Here's the topology um, for the Yosemite configuration B sensor monitoring. There are sensor tables in the baseboard slat server board, and extension boards. The sensor table in expansion board will be primarily getting the sensor data for the M.2 SSD. Then it passed through to the server board, and the server board also collect the sensor data for CPU, DIMM, etc. then passing it to the drawer-based board. Then the base board then collect all the sensor data from four slats together with the fan, and power sensor data, then going through the BMC, reporting to the host monitoring. So here I'd like to pass the following technical illustration to my colleague, Matt, Matt Chen. And Matt is going to talk about uh, firmware updates and management functions. Are we connecting to the speaker? I, I, I need the audio. Thanks, Stephen, for the introduction. I believe you already have a certain understanding of why we Thanks, Stephen, for the introduction. I believe you already have a certain understanding of the YV3 architecture. Next, I will introduce you according to two themes, firmware update and the management functions. In the firmware update part, one important point is that the firmware version of all components can be updated through the BMC of the baseball. I discharge different boards into NIC card, server board, and the front expansion card. BMC can update the NIC card firmware through NCSI. The components on the server board include bridge IC, VR, CPUD, and BIOS. BMC can send data and the IPMB command through I2C to update the firmware of bridge IC. VR and the CPLD. In addition, based on the YV2 experience, it takes more time to transfer data to VIC, VR, X-Ways. In YV3, BMC supports USB, and the data is sent to VIC through USB, and the files is updated by VIC. The time to update the files has been shortened from the original 15 minutes to less than 5 minutes. Similarly, on front expansion card, which I see and the device and the CPLD can be updated away through I2C. In addition, BMC can also send data to front expansion which I see through USB and then update CPU a different way through I2C. Then I will introduce the functions of BMC management. On this page, I will introduce four categories 
management interface, event log management, power management, and fan management. Users can connect BMC to the network, secure share, and then manage the system to various utilities provided by BMC. SO Low Util provides that users can connect to host via UART to operate on the host side. Also, IPMI and USB can be used to send the command and update the files and security firmware. For event recording, in addition to BMC can record various events on the baseball, which I see also send event logs that occur on front suspension car and server ball back to BMC. While hoster and PCH will notify BMC of events to which I see by Excel command. In power management, the thread cycle can power off the entire system and turn it on. And BMC supports help V power control to a slot. BMC also supports power control of expansion car and the M.2 device. Fan management. Since YV3 supports multiple configurations, different configurations need to import different fan tables. So BMC supports individual fan tables and comply with OCP fan speed control surface vacation. BMC monitors the sensors on the system and log the events when the sensor value exceeds the threshold. BMC also provides the firmware version information to each component on the system and also provides the firmware update function to each component. YV3 support Intel at scale debug solution provides debug access to the BMC to CPU, PCH JTAG chain, and target pins in order to advance debug. In addition, YV3 supports OCP debug card. Through the debug card, user do not need to connect to BMC or host via Network to get the information as recorded on this page more conveniently. Finally, YV3, a framework that supports multiple configurations, makes it more convenient and simple for user to manage such hardware is our goal. OpenBMC is not only compatible with IPMI spec, but also provides more software utilities for users to have a more intuitional and convenient experience. You can find the OpenBMC public code on the URL. I would like to hand over to Steven. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Matt. Um, so we seem to have a little bit more time here. Um, we have about one minute. So um, since Matt is online, so do you have any questions about the OpenBMC for Yosemite? Please feel free to ask uh, while he's online. Any questions? So again, I know the show is going to be closing soon. If you have the chance to stop by our off, um, stop by our booth, um, the Yosemite YV3 is there together with the next generation um, OCP um, mass storage solutions. Um, so I welcome you and take this final chance to stop by our booth, say hello to us, and if you have any questions. Um, this is not the, not, not the only chance for you to ask questions. We still have the colleagues online. 
um, if you'd like to actually drop them a message and they can actually reply to you accordingly. But thank you very much. And uh, my time is up here. I'm very glad to be on the stage and to be with you guys. Thank you.